Welcome to the Empowerment Series. This is going to be a really fun one. This is going to be a really good one because I'm very passionate about this specific word, extraordinary. Say with me, extraordinary. I'm very excited because I just, I really feel like we can all become this. We can all choose to be this, but it's up to us to do it. But before we go deep into it, I want to share some exciting and fun news that this week, a few days ago, I released my new single, Ooh La 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 La. So now I want you guys to hear it. I'm putting the graphic right here so you can see it. You can hear it in any platform that you wish to listen to it. And the music video is coming out very soon. I'm very excited about this one because I love it. It's so much fun. It's like sexy Spanish, but it's also like deep and it's about marriage and all that. So anyway, I hope that you guys really like it and let me know what you think. Let's get back to being extraordinary. We're not talking about being perfect. You guys have heard me many times talk about this that I've never, ever, ever, I'm trying to tell you to be perfect, okay? So if you're like, oh, but I'm not perfect or I just, I'm not good enough and all that, that has nothing to do with being perfect, right? I don't believe that anybody is meant to be perfect. And if we are, we're all our unique type of perfect, okay? That's what I strongly believe. Because to achieve perfection, then that means you need to be exactly like somebody else. When you've never been meant, you've, God never intended for you to be somebody else. God intended it for you to be yourself, to be unique. That's why you have your own fingerprint, you have your own DNA, okay? Even if you have twins, you still have that differences. So I hope that you realize how unique and how special you are. So we're talking about not being perfect. We're talking about being extraordinary. Talking about being perfect, I was talking to a friend yesterday, Oh, yeah, yesterday, and I was t telling them that sometimes I don't upload uh, music videos or me singing because I don't think they're perfect enough, right? Because I was thinking and looking at this through my perspective and thinking, well, sometimes I don't hit the notes right or I'm just kind of perfectionist when it comes to this because it's also my career and I'm kind of very picky about that. But my friend was like, you know what? People are not listening to it the way that you're thinking of it in a career-wise. People are just... Just, I just want to listen to it as a, as a listener, as a fan. I just want to listen to it the way that it sounds to me, which is good. Like, I just want to see your passion. I just, I don't, I never expected you to be perfect. And it hit me really hard because I was like, what? Like, I'm thinking about not releasing stuff and not doing things because I'm thinking to a level standard of perfection, it needs to be bef so, 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 so good that if it's not so, 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 so good, it can't be going out. But the thing is that I'm doing it to my standard. Just like maybe you do politics and you do speeches and you do art and all these things. And to me, what you do is probably extraordinary, wonderful, beautiful. But to you, because you know the skill, it's not perfect enough. So therefore you don't release what you're meant to be doing. And I wanna just break that off today and tell you, don't be like that, release things. If I'm gonna start doing it because maybe it's not perfect to me, but it's beautiful to other people. And we gotta listen to what people want us, we all have a gift and people are calling out for that gift. They want to have that gift that you have and you carry. So even though you might think it's not perfect already yet, don't listen to just yourself or people just even in the career, in the same career. Listen to what people around you are saying. For example, I will give you the, the example of Kevin Hart. I saw his documentary on Netflix and then he talked about how many times movie critics will always diminish the movies that he would release. But afterwards he'll be like, I don't even listen to, to the critics and, and to the people in the, in the actual field that criticize your movie and they, they make sure to say if it's good or bad. He's like, I just wait for the weekend and then I'll see the numbers and then I'll, I'll be at peace. If people like it, then I'm at peace. And it always happened to him that the first weekend they would always recuperate the money that they ever spent and above. So he was like, it's not so much about what those people are saying, it's what the, the fans are saying, it's what the people love. So that's really like, I just connected those two dots and said, you know what, it's not about being perfect. It's not about being perfect to a certain standard of professionals or anything like that. It's about also being yourself and being good enough in the process. 
and to continue. So I just want to encourage you today that even though to you might not be perfect, what are people saying? What do people want from you? And not only that, invite people to this journey. And that's what I'm trying to do through this empowerment series, to invite you into the journey that I'm in, where I'm I'm become, I'm, I'm still, I'm working a full-time job, doing other jobs, but I also want to become an artist and I want to invite you to say, hey, I also struggle. I'm also fighting this, but I'm choosing to do better. I'm choosing to go above and beyond and I'm choosing to be extraordinary. So all I want you to do is take bold steps and put things out there because you're beautiful and you have gifts to give. And even though they're not perfect, I'm sure your daughter, this is what I tell myself, my daughter and my granddaughter and my grandkids, I want them to know that their mother and their grandmother tried to do it even when it wasn't perfect, she was bold enough to do it. So I encourage you with that, be bold enough because maybe you're comparing yourself to people in your career or professionals, but people around you already need the gift that you have right now and today. So whew, that was a lot. I, I really felt that really deep in my heart that I wanted to share that today. But I, we're talking about being extraordinary, right? We're talking about being special, extraordinary. And that means that you also, first of all, let me give you some tips. First of all, you need to realize that you're unique. You're special. To be extraordinary, you need to know that you are special, right? Extraordinary. Ordinary means normal, average, but extra means different. It means added to, right? So you need to understand that to be extraordinary, first of all, you need to realize you're unique, right? To be extraordinary, you need to realize that you need to be determined. You need to go the extra mile, right? Extraordinary requires extra effort, extra mile, extra, you know, uh, goal setting, but extra goal doing as well. You need to take extra measures to be that extra. It's just the way it is. You cannot be extraordinary unless you decide to give the extra, which is extra time extra passion, extra effort. Like even before this video, I was like, wow, my body is not in the mood to give this energy, but I know that I have it in me to do it because I want to be extraordinary. And I want to show you that you can be extraordinary too if you choose to be today, right? So the first thing you need to know to be an extraordinary person is that first of all, you're unique. You're not ordinary, you're extraordinary. Origi like already, you already have number one, right? I hope you need to see it to be able to live it. You need to understand it to be able to live it. So dwell on that maybe for five minutes or 10 minutes or take the whole week to realize, am I extraordinary? Why am I so different? First of all, DNA explains that you're different, that your fingerprint explains that you're different. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that you are different. Yes, you are. You're amazing and you're unique. And the second thing is you need to be determined. I have some quotes for you that I came up with this week, which I thought that were really cool. So I was sharing with my husband. So I was sharing about don't expect great results without great efforts. A lot of us expect incredible results, expect favor, grace, the things that are just going to fall out of heaven. That they're just going to come to us because we're just, you know, if you're a Christian or a child of God or, or you're just in the words of like, yeah, I'm making the extra uh, hours. And then that's why, or I'm doing this, or I'm being stingy, or I'm running over people. I hope we don't have that because we don't have that culture here. But my whole point is that you need to do extra efforts, right? Not just extra hours. It's, it's, it's at your job. Are you the best in your job? Are you giving the extra time? Are you giving, are you showing people that you're willing to learn? Are you sh will, showing people that you're willing to go to another level, no matter how much it costs you when you're working out? Will you, um, even with family members, are you doing the, are you going the extra mile to be with them, to pay attention with friends? Are you going the extra mile to show them that you want to spend time with them, that you want to be with them, that you're aware of their life? Are you asking them how they're doing? It's all about doing the extra in your dreams, in your lifestyle. Are you going the extra mile? Because if you give extra efforts, you're going to be receiving extra <laughs> results, right? Don't expect great results without great efforts. It's just, it, they, they don't go together. They don't. You need to go the extra mile. That is just even just working out. Let's take that as, as a normal. Working out or studying. If you put in more time to study, if you put in more time to go beyond or even working out, you're gonna receive extra results. You're gonna know more. You get, your tests are gonna go better. Your studies are gonna go better. Your, your body is going to start reacting to your workouts when you give the extra effort, right? And another quote that I really, really liked this week was, rise to the standard that you want to be in, 
right? So it's not right to the standard that you wish to be in. No, it's that you want to. Because it's no longer I wish for something, it's I want it. Say it with me. I don't wish for something, I want it. Meaning that you are actually taking an action in your life to say, I don't just wish for it, it hopefully it comes. It says, I want it, I'm willing to pay the price, and I'm willing to go the extra mile, be extraordinary, which is a beautiful word, to be able to receive these results. So... You need to rise up to those. You can't say things to people and you don't do them yourself. You can't expect to be, I can't expect to be the best singer and I'm not practicing and I'm not singing. I can't be that, I can't expect to be the best songwriter and then I don't write my own songs. I just can't do that. I can't expect to be fit if I don't work out. Uh, uh, that's important. I'm also applying this to my life. I need to go the extra mile. I need to go be extra to be extraordinary right? So I need to rise up and I need to have a level of a standard and I need to live up to that, whether it is dressing up, whether it's looking a certain way, whether it is walking a certain way to be able to get to the level that you are meant to be and you want to be in. No longer wish to be, but you want to be in. And that level is extra. And to be in that extra level, you got to be extraordinary. Be extra, different from other people. Be added on, have more than what other people have. And you know, you don't need to be prettier. You just need to be determined. You just need to be wanting and you just need to give all that you have. And one little, one last little tip. So the first tip was you need to know that you're unique, that you're different. To be extraordinary, you need to know that you're different, that you're unique. You need to be determined. And the last tip that I'm gonna give you is to don't quit. Don't give up and don't quit. You wanna be extraordinary? You wanna be separated from, from everybody else and you want to be chosen? You need to not quit. I will share this last this last story and then I'm gonna <laughs> finish this. I had so much today to, to say today, guys. I really did. I was like getting ready for this and I was like, oh man, I hope that I can get it in 10 minutes. I did it, but I'm almost there. So bear with me. If you, if you have to go, don't worry. Put it on pause, watch it later. But if you can, just stay with me one more minute. So I was working out and I'm trying to do more cardio because I want my body to start reacting to having more effects because I feel like I, will, I can do weights and all of that. But doing cardio, I feel like that's what my body needs right now. And I also want to be doing dancing and singing at the same time, right? So I need to work on my cardio and it's something I've hated all my life, guys. I've never done sports. I've never done anything of that. Like I run out of breath so easily. It's just, I don't know why, but I've always been like that since I was a little girl. So I'm really determined to go the extra mile to be able to break that off of all the years that I'm living, right? So I was working out and I was doing cardio and guys, right at the beginning, I was already not feeling good at the beginning. I was not feeling good. I was like, man, I should not do it because I've been having allergies. I'm so tired and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it perfectly like the, the lady who's doing it. I'm going to follow this video and I'm going to finish it and, and I, maybe I'll take my pauses and I'll pause it when I need to do it or I'll do the easy route, but I'm going to finish this video. I literally told myself that. And throughout the video, I was actually really doing not that bad. Was it hard? It was really hard. But if I was breathing hard, I didn't feel so bad because the lady doing it was breathing hard. So I was like, okay, I think, I think I'm think i not that bad, right? I gotta, you gotta pat yourself on the back sometimes. You're like, wait, I'm not doing that bad actually. So, but at the end I was like, man, I just cannot do it. But you know what? I finished it, guys. I finished it. I went to work out complete. And then I did the the... The warming, not the warming up, the, the cooling down. And it was so amazing and it was so good. I, my favorite part was when the workout was done and I was stretching, but I did it. I didn't quit. Yes, afterwards I had to lay down for a long time in a sense because my body was like, what the heck are you doing? I think I just needed to eat something too. I, I think I should eat a little bit before I work out. So anyway, that's just extra. I'm just sharing a little bit of myself. But the whole point is that I didn't quit. The whole point is that it wasn't easy. But my whole point is that you can go after your dreams and I am willing to pay the extra mile and do the extra things to be extraordinary because extra, everybody wants to be called extra extraordinary everybody does everybody wants to feel extraordinary but not everybody's willing to pay the price but I know you and I we're gonna pay the price and we're gonna pay the price we're gonna know first of all that we're unique second of all that we're gonna be determined to finish and everything that we have started and we want to do we don't just wish things but we want them and we go for it 
And third thing, we're not gonna quit. We're gonna continue to do it because we're gonna be those extraordinary people. And out of the thousands, they will choose us because we are going to get the extra and people are looking for that. The best are looking for the best. And the best are looking for people who are going to give the extra. So anyway, guys, I hope that you liked it this week. I really, really enjoyed doing these. Share it with your family and your friends if this was a good message. If you enjoyed it, please share it on your social medias. I would love, would love to see you guys support. I really would enjoy that and will mean the world to me. Comment and I would love to get back to you. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, 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 oh,